We're at Cliggerhead here. So this is uh, one of the uh, main mines for tungsten mineralization in the um, Cornish district. And here we can see a nice Grison uh, reaction. So you can see some dark veins here, running this way, here and here. Uh, and they're surrounded by granite on either side. The granites, the feldspars have been altered by later kaolinization, but the Grison reaction itself is a reaction between, in the cores of these veins, you can see these very thin fractures with some open voids. Fluids have been fluxing down that, and they've contained tin chloride. And the tin chloride has reacted with the feldspars. You can see there are no feldspars within that vein region. Uh, and it's produced tin oxide, which precipitates down the cores of the veins as the very dark line right the way down the center. Uh, and the reaction also uses up feldspars and produces a mixture of quartz and mica. So this is quartz and muscovite in this region here. And then in the center, you have the industrial mineralization of tin oxide. This is a hand specimen of a Grison vein, which has been fractured right the way down the center of the vein. And you can see that there are some dark minerals in it, and there's a lot of quartz as well. The dark minerals are a mixture of tourmaline and, uh, in this case, mainly uh, tungsten oxide. There's a small amount of tin oxide, but mainly it's tung tungsten oxide in this vein. And this is an individual grain of tungsten okay, of wolframite, that's an iron manganese tungsten oxide and it has some cleavage in it, it's black, it's much blacker than cassiterite would be. Cassiterite tin oxide tends to be glassy, uh, doesn't have, uh, has a vitreous luster, doesn't have any cleavage in it, it tends to be uh, slightly browner or slightly more yellowy. So this is uh, wolframite here.